In the early 1900s, a group of black businessmen had purchased a small piece of land in the northeast section of Tulsa. They called it Greenwood. As segregation practices had grown in white Tulsa, so had the black businesses in Greenwood. I started a beauty shop dressing hair in 1915 in the home. We had money, but we were not able to go and purchase things, so it helped us to go into business for our own selves. And then that's when the black people began to build. In front of Ramsey's drugstore was a cab stand called the Your Cab Company. And there were several uh, cabs, and they were all owned by black. And some of the owners were bought uh, four or five new cabs every year. We had our own bus transportation. The city lines, the city bus lines today were started by a black man. And he sold the thing to the city with the understanding that they would have black drivers. Before there were city buses, there were jitneys that uh, black people owned and um, uh, the ambulance really intoned as it ripped through Great Wood Street. We had two or three ambulances, yes. Ambulances uh, which were operated by funeral homes. And there were no fees attached to the ambulance service because I su suppose the Undertakers who operated the ambulances felt that the patient might die and they'd get remunerated through that way. You'd go into a barbecue place and you'd hear the blues, you'd hear the jazz, and you'd hear live performers, um, Diana Washington and uh, Roy Milton, and the Globetrotters would come strolling down the street. Earl Bostic was from here. We had Clarence Love was from here. A lot of musicians that went all over the United States. Clarence Love had an all-girls band that traveled all across the country. We had some of the best barbecue that, uh, that you could ever want to taste. I can remember, though, one place, though, that, um, that I guess to, to, to get that white business, he had a side for black folks and a side for uh, white folks, and I can remember thinking, I didn't think his barbecue was that great, because I hated the idea that uh, he, had to, he had to do this. You know, he had, a, he had a market that he didn't have to do that.